Assalamualaikum My name is Joseph and I'll be instructing you through today's process What's important to remember is that while you listen to my instructions or follow my instructions should I say you listen to your body So we place our palms onto our knees lengthen, sit onto our sit bones lengthen through the crown of our skull lift up our chest to inches exhale bring our chin down to inches so we're going to do, we're going to just start to acclimatize and sink into our breath. So as we inhale, allow the abdomen to rise, and as we exhale, allow the navel to do the sink towards the spine. As we inhale, allow the abdomen to rise. And as you exhale, allow the navel to gently sink towards the spine. As you inhale, you're going to breathe in fresh oxygen, light, love, peace. And as you exhale, you can release anger, stress, and anxiety. Inhale, allow the abdomen to rise. If you are unable to keep Keep your eyes closed, take the gaze to the tip of your nose. As you exhale, allow the energy to float down to the base of your spine. Placing the tongue on the roof of the mouth to create a circular flow of energy throughout your internal body. Allows that the energy, the shumna, flows in circular motion. So we're connecting the masculine and the female energy. Inhale, allow the abdomen to rise. Exhale, allow the navel to gently sink towards the spine. So we're going to start with what we call Kavalabhati, which is a rapid in and out breath through the nostrils. As you exhale, you allow your abdomen to contract. So place your palms onto your abdomen. As you inhale, exhale, begin. Send it all the way down the front of your body, down to the base of your spine. Inhale. Allow the abdomen to rise. Exhale as you allow the navel to sink towards the spine. Alright, so bring your thumb and index finger together to make an energy, internal energy circle. Pranayama is one of the eight limbs of Ashtanga Yoga and is broadly spoken of in all practice of yoga. It's the most important thing. So even if you can't do the postures, as long as you're breathing, that's where the magic will occur. Okay, so as we inhale, we're going to raise our palms up, allowing our movement. Inhale, bring your palms up, palms facing as you reach halfway, turn the face, palms facing upwards, exhale, bring the palms to meet in the middle. As you exhale, you're going to bring your palms down towards your heart center. You're going to continue that flow. Inhale, raise your palms up. Back of the palms first, they turn over, exhale, bring them up, above it down. Extend, exhale, bring it down, your palms down to your heart center. Anytime we bring our palms together, like this, it represents semen. 
as we seek to balance our left and right hemispheres. As you inhale, raise the palms up. Halfway, palms turn over, exhale. Bring the palms to meet above your crown. Exhale, bring the palms towards your heart center. Inhale, big circle. So we're starting to synchronize our movement with our breath, our breath with our movement. So it's a continuous flow. Exhale, release as we start to settle into this moving meditation. We'll send the palms all the way up to the heavens. Not exhale as we release, bring the palms down to grab the earth. Place the palms onto the floor. Bring the chin to the chest. Keep the breathing. Keep the breathing consistent. So the breathing should be even, deep, and smooth. As we start to release any tension we're holding in our neck, inhale, raise the palms up. Exhale, release them down to the earth. Okay. So as you inhale, take a deep breath in. Through the nostrils. In this practice, we breathe through our nostrils. So close the mouth, place the tongue on the roof of the mouth. As you inhale in, exhale, bring the chin to your chest. As you inhale, bring the crown back to center. Exhale, allow the crown to fall backwards. Take your gaze to the sky. Inhale, as you come back to center. Exhale, take your gaze to look over your right shoulder. Inhale, come up to centre. Exhale, take your gaze to look over your left shoulder. As you inhale, come up to centre. Now we're going to do something what which we call a figure of eight. So it's going to be an infinity, infinity symbol. So you join a sideways eight. Just by moving the neck from side to side. Closing the eyes, imagine that you're holding a pencil in the middle of your eyebrows. So keep that pencil in that center or into the intersection of that infinity symbol. And you just gently rock out, start to open up your brain stem. Remove any calcis that you're holding. In. Lovely. Inhale, lengthen through the crown, raise the palms up. As you exhale, forward fold. Bring the palms down to get the air. Soften the chin to the chest, relax the shoulders. And just breathe this deep, rhythmic, rhythmic and even breath. Inhale, raise the palms up, arms in line with the torso. Exhale, release the palms down to the sides of the feet. Good. So we're going to start to work on our ankles or our toes. So we're going to do some dorsiflexes. So feet two feet apart. As we rotate our ankles three times clockwise. So as we bring them together, we're going to point them down. Inhale, bring them out. Bring them together. Exhale, point them down. Bring them out. So we're starting to work our ankles. Three times. We do this five times clockwise and then five times anti-clockwise. As we start to warm up our body. One bone stroke muscle at a time. Good. So you're gonna bend your knees, soles of the feet onto the floor, so the whole feet are hip width apart. Place your palms behind you. We're gonna do hip rotation, so to warm up our hips, windscreen rifle. So as we exhale, we're going to allow our knees to fall over to the left. Inhale, come up to center. Exhale, allow the knees to fall over to the right. Inhale, come up to center. Exhale, allow the knees to fall over to the left. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, allow them to fall over to the right. Inhale, come up to center. So as we exhale, Allow the knees to fall over to the left. This time we're going to pivot onto our left palm. As we rotate the turn of our shoulder, placing our right palm onto our left knee. You're going to notice the rotation is coming from your lower spine. Okay, open up the chest. As you look over the shoulder, soften the As you look over the shoulder, 
shoulder folds upwards and allow the knee to be in line with your your right knee to be in line with your left hand your left ankle keep breathing inhale come up to center as you exhale we're going to switch on to the opposite side rotating on your right palm the left palm is on your right knee rotate from your lower spine open up the chest look over your shoulder uh, remember to curl the toes So bring the soles of the feet together and we're just simply going to do some butterflies. So just allow the knees to bounce out. As you start to open up your inner groin. Inhale, bring your knees together. Okay, so you're going to roll back onto your... So the knees are still bent at this stage. And we're simply going to do some back rocks. So we're going to rock backwards and forwards nine times to allow uh, to warm up our spine. So three, two, one, begin. Inhale backwards, exhale forwards. Releasing the audible tube on the way up. As we seek to release any stagnant energy that we're holding in our body. All the way up if you are able. And then when you finish, come up to seated. Wrap the arms around your knees. Inhale, lengthen through the crown. Exhale, allow the crown to fall between your legs. Lovely. So we're going to cross our legs. So cross your legs. Lift yourself up. And come up onto all fours. The knees in line with the hips, palms in line with the shoulders. As we do some cat cow. So as we exhale, we're going to tilt our pelvis, soften the shoulders, curl the spine, chin to chest. Inhale, reversing the flow. Bring the shoulder blades together, allow the heart to lean forward, take the gaze up towards, not the, the sky. Exhale, tilt the pelvis, soften the shoulders, chin to chest. As we start to warm into the practice, inhale, raise it. Allow the crown to lean forward, heart leaning forward, shoulder blades meet. Curl the tailbone upward. Exhale, tilt the pelvis, soften the shoulders, chin to chest. Inhale, come up onto all fours. We're going to take an extended child pose. So you're going to bring your palm one foot away from you. And as you exhale, you're going to bring your crown down to the floor. Remain in high knee. Keep your hips parallel to the knee and extend through that lower back as you root down through the palms of your hands. Remember to keep the breath deep, even and long. And just breathe. Use each breath. Exhalation is a, as a means to release anything that no longer serves you, whether that be thoughts, feelings, or emotions. As you inhale, come up into all fours. As you inhale, you're going to raise your left palm up to the, not the sky, take the gaze to that palm. And as you exhale, you're going to thread that left palm underneath your right armpit. Take the back of the left palm, elbow, shoulder, and ear to get the air. Extend that right palm towards the top of your mat. And just breathe into the hips and into your side body. As you bring back the right palm back next to your head, inhale, come up and fall forward. Good. As you inhale, you're going to raise the right palm up.
Inhale, raise that right palm up to the ceiling, not, not the sky. Exhale, put it underneath your left armpit. Back of the right palm, elbow, shoulder. And to get the earth, extend the arm. Left arm all the way to the back of the neck. Keep breathing. Create a nice opening all the way in your left side of your body. Good. As you bring that left palm in line with your head, inhale, come up onto all fours. Palms in line with each other. We're going to reverse the flow. So we're going to exhale, allow the glutes to take your knees as wide as possible. Bring the toes together. And as you exhale, you're going to allow your glutes to come down towards your heels, placing the forehead onto the floor. Extend through your palm, so you're activating your armpit. And make the breath deep, even and long. Inhale, coming up onto all fours. Alright. So we're going to work on our Cool. So we're going to do alternate leg raises. So as you inhale, I'd like you to raise your right palm and left leg. Extend your palm all the way in front of you and the heel of the back leg behind you. Keeping everything in line. Keep the gaze looking down. Keep breathing. Exhale, release. We're going to switch and do the opposite side. So inhale, raise that left palm, extend out through the left right heel. This is a different format of my act, battling the balance. Strengthening the whole of your posterior chain. Exhale release. You're gonna roll the toes under and as you exhale you're gonna allow the hips to rise. Walking out the feet left right, left right, left right. Left, right, left, right. Come up onto the tips of the toes. As you exhale, allow the heels to fall as we take our first downward facing dog for the day. Otherwise known as Nut or Pyramid. Micro bend those knees. Exhale, come down onto your knees. Point your toes. As you inhale, come up onto your knees, raising the palms above your crown. You're gonna make a pattern, your symbol of power, as you extend all the way through your arms. You can clasp, bring your palms together, simply the sides of the palms together, or clasp them and extend through your index finger. Exhale, allow the crown to fall back as you take the palm, gaze to the sky. Nut symbolizing infinity and expanse. Inhale, bring the palm back to center. Exhale, release the palms to the waist. Place the palms, allow, bring the bring the tips of the fingers onto your glutes. The little fingers meet behind your back. Bring, lift the shoulders up, back and down. Elbows together. Inhale, gentle back bend. Take the tongue to the roof of the mouth. Inhale, come back to center. So, gentle back bend. Inhale, come back to center. One more time. Exhale, gentle back bend. Inhale, come back to center. Raise the palms above the crown. Extend all the way through. Exhale, allow the crown to pull back, gentle back bend. Inhale, bring the palm back to center. Exhale, bring the palm down towards your heart center. And just sit onto our heels, place the palms onto the heels. Good. Bring the palms in front of you, roll the toes under. Come up onto the soles of our feet. 
bring your elbows inside your knees, palms and index, palms together into a prayer position. As we come into knee, emerging from the primordial waters of creation. So as we inhale, we're going to come up. And as we inhale, we're going to draw in our navel, rooting down through the heels. Come up to standing, send the palms all the way up towards the heavens. And as you exhale, you're going to cactus your arms with a gentle back bend, a nice kind of back. Coming up, bring the palms into a prayer position above your crown. Exhale, bring your palms down towards your heart centre as you bend the knees. Inhale, coming up. Extend the palms all the way up the nook. Cactus the arms. Exhale, gentle back bend. Take the gaze to the ceiling. Inhale, bring the palms up into a second. Your symbol of power. Run down those cosmic energies from the earth into your being. Exhale, bring the palms down towards your heart center, bending the knees. Just come into squatting, inhale, come up to standing. Extend all the way up, part the palms, cactus the palms. Exhale, gentle back bend. Inhale, bring the palms up, arms into prayer position. Exhale, bring them down towards your heart center. Exhale, release the palms. Okay, so we're going to do what is called a shoe warm up now. So we're going to rotate our torso from left to right. So come to the center of your mat, feet in a V, palms 45 degrees facing outwards. We're going to rotate our torso from left to right, release an audible shoe on each side. Inhale, exhale, begin. helps for you to maintain balance and focus. Now come back to centre, exhale, place the palms onto the waist. Feet slightly, feet hip width apart, roll the shoulders up, back and down, lengthen to the chest. Release the palms down to the sides of your body. As you inhale, exhale, forward fold, pivoting from the hips. As you bend the knees, you're going to create fists, so place, make fists on the floor. As you exhale, you're going to place your palms behind your ankles. Keep the head bent. As you inhale, you're going to lengthen through the crown of the head and as you exhale you're going to straighten the legs, drawing in the navel, bringing your abdomen towards your chest. And as you bend the knees, make a pyramid with your palms on the floor. As you inhale, bend the knees, raise the pyramid up, all the way up to the nook. Exhale, bring it down towards your first thigh. Extend the palms, bring the back bend to back bend. Inhale as you raise the palms up, palms into the second, exhale, bring it down towards your heart center. Inhale, exhale, release. Good. So we're going to lengthen out and the side of our body. So feet, shoulders width apart. Palm onto your waist. As you inhale, you're going to raise the right palm up. As you exhale, you're going to gently bend to the side. Side bend. Good. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, release. Inhale, you raise the opposite side. Extend to the palm. Exhale, gentle side bend. Inhale, you're coming up. Exhale, release. Inhale, you raise the palm up. Right palm to the side. Exhale, gentle side bend. Coming up, exhale, release. Inhale as you raise, left palm up. Remember, this is very much a moving meditation. So exhale, allow your body to move in synchronization with the breath. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, release the palm. Okay, so we're going to focus on our neck. So as we exhale, we're going to bring our chin to our chest. 
going anti-clockwise, inhale, rotate the head, so it touches the back of our shoulder. So we do this five times clockwise, five times anti-clockwise. We set inhale forward, exhale backwards. You can release a cleansing breath if you wish, which is the sound of HA, but allow the breath to last a complete range of the movement. As you release any tension you're holding in your neck, your cervical spine, which is your neck, and your trapezius. And you finish with a big chin on your chest. Inhale, raise the crown up. Okay, so slightly soften the knees. We're going to do hip rotation. So inhale forwards, exhale backwards. Inhale forwards, exhale backwards. Inhale forwards, exhale backwards. And on the exhalation, you can release a shoe sound. So we're going to do this eight times. So three, two, one, begin. Remember, if you can do this outside, it's better for you. If you can't, make sure you're doing it inside a ventilated room. Best to do it before midday as well. As if micro bend the knees. Inhale, raise the energy up. Exhale, bring it down as you place the palms onto your knees. Why is it best to be done earlier than later? Because the energy in the chi is more oxygen is fresher, crisper. So you're getting more bang for your buck, as it were. So keep the knees bent, palms onto the knees. Create a nice curve in your lumbar. Roll the shoulders up, back and down, chest forward. Rotate clockwise. Good. Five times. And then rotate anti-clockwise five times. As we start to warm up the synovial joints or synovial fluids in our knee joints. Good. Inhale, raise the energy up. Exhale, bring it down. Good. How's everybody? I trust everybody should be feeling quite loose now because that is the warm-up phase. Now we're going to get into getting really warm so the next couple of postures will be is going to be Ujjara which is a journey of the sun which teaches us to be both consistent in whatever we do and also non-discriminatory the sun shines upon everyone without discrimination so it teaches us this is teaching us those qualities okay so come to the front of the mat feet shoulders rip apart before we start actually you can bring the big toes together draw draw up the roll up the shoulders up back and down lengthen through the palms of your hands so your palms are reaching down and your crown is lifting upwards pick up your pelvic floor and just reside in this posture for a moment this is uh, the mountain pose so just imagine yourself resembling that unwaverable and unmovable majesty of the mountain. Draw in the navel, pick up the pelvic floor, draw in the navel, tongue on the roof of the mouth. Rotate the fire inwards. Exhale, soften and release. So feet two feet apart. Come into the front of your mat. As you inhale, you're going to raise your palms up. As you're collecting all that chi from the energy or atmosphere around you, exhale, you're bringing it down, centering into your heart space. Exhale, release your palms to the side. Inhale, raise your palms up. Feel that expansive energy as you're drawing in that chi. Exhale, bring the palms down towards your heart center. So we create a pyramid with our palms. And as you inhale, you're going to bring the palms down in front of your body, out and up. As you raise it up towards Nut, symbolizing the first cycle of the sun, day, day rays, the sun daybreak. Exhale, bring the palms down towards your third eye, and the palms leaning back, gentle back then. 
impact test the palms if you have to. Inhale and raise the palms up so the palms are parallel. And as you exhale, we're going to fold forward. Place the fold forward from the hips. Bring the fingertips in line with the toes. And as we inhale, we're going to make a giant step backwards, left foot. This is posture is also known as a lunge, so look forward. Take a nice stretch in your hip flex, stretching your hip, hip flexor. Exhale, come down onto your left knee. Come down onto your left knee. Come down onto your left knee. You're going to raise the palm. Come up into the arm. Palm drop, elbow drop. Exhale, pivot forward. The alignment, remember to keep your right knee or your knee in line with your ankle. As you exhale, pivot in forward, open up the base chakra. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, placing your palms on together the earth. As you push up off your left knee, stepping back high onto the toes. Exhale out the heels or the hips, the glutes to point up towards the back wall as you press through your shin bone and your thigh bone. Good. Extend through the palms, so spread the fingertips as you're rooting down through all knuckles. Take the gaze to dive at the, the toes or the shins, so you allow the head to fall. Exhale out, come down onto your knees. You're going to point those toes. As you inhale, we're going to flow through our palms. So inhale, chin, chest, abdomen. Flow through the palms, take the gaze to the ceiling, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, at the top. Inhale, as you reverse the flow, abdomen, chest, chin. Come up onto our knees, roll the toes under. Exhale, allow the hips to rise. Good. Come up high onto the toes. Exhale, allow the heels to fall. Flat if you're able. Allow the head to fall naturally. Inhale, giant step forward your left foot. Bring the left foot between the palms. Exhale, come down onto your right knee. Inhale, coming up onto your fingertips or looking up on it to stretch. As you inhale, stepping forward that right foot, right foot in line with the left. Then keeping the knees bent, make a pyramid onto the floor. Inhale, raise the pyramid as you come up to standing. Exhale, bring it down towards the first side. Extend the palms, lean back, bend the back down. Inhale, bring the palms up into a second. Exhale, bring it down towards the heart center. Pyramid with the palms. Inhale, push down, out and up. Exhale, bring it up down above your crown. Exhale, gentle back bend. Inhale, as you raise your palms up. Exhale, pivot forwards, hips pivot forwards. Bending from the hips, palms in line with your toes. Inhale, giant step forward, back with your right foot. Come into a lunge, so you're looking forward. As you exhale, come down onto the right knee, inhale, come up into the door, palm top, elbow top, exhale, pivot, open up the groin, that hip flexor, remember your alignment, inhale, come back to center, exhale, place the palms on together, pushing up off that right knee, stepping back high onto the toes. As you exhale, allow the heels to fall. As you root down through the palms, head to the shins. As you inhale, exhale, come down onto your knees. Point those toes. Inhale, as you flow through the palms. Chin, chest, abdomen. Roll the shoulders up, back and down. Take the gaze to the nut. Exhale at the top. Reversing the flow. Inhale, abdomen, chest, chin. As you roll the toes under, exhale, allow the hips to rise. Exhale, allow the heels to fall. 
rooting down through the palms of your hand. Take the gaze to your toes. Michael bend the knees, giant step forward the right foot. Exhale, come down onto the left knee. Fingertips in line with the toes. Inhale, come up. Listen up to your heart center. So you're coming up for an extra stretch, looking up at the tip of the nose. Inhale, giant step forward your left foot. Bend in the knees, make a pyramid. Inhale, raise the pyramid above the crown. Exhale, release the pyramid down towards the first side. Extend the palms, lean back, then back there. Inhale, bring the palms up into a second. Exhale, bring it down towards your heart center. Release. Good. So we're going to come on to get the floor now. So inhale, raise the palms up. Exhale, come down to seated. So you're going to extend your feet out in front of you. You can bend your knees for this one actually. So bend the knees, soles of the feet onto the floor. Inhale, raise the palms up. Exhale, we're going to bring the palms underneath our calves. Folding them. And as you inhale, lengthen through the crown. Keep the toes bent towards you. Exhale, bring the abdomen towards your thighs. Keep the neck nice and long. Exhale, release. All right, extend your feet this time. Inhale, raise the palms up. Exhale, forward fold. Place the palms onto the shins or whatever's comfortable for you, even on the floor. So you're going to inhale, lengthen through the crown. Bring the shoulder blades together. And as you exhale, you're going to come down, bring the heart center down towards your thighs. Relaxing the neck, keeping the gaze onto the toes. Inhale, raise the palms up. Exhale, release them down to get the earth. All right, so we're going to bend our knees. Take this the opposite direction. So bend your knees, so your knees, we're going to take tabletop. So your knees are two feet apart or in line with your hips. Palms are in line. Or your palms are where your elbows would naturally um, arrive if you were to have your elbows on the floor. And we're simply going to lift up our torso on the in-breath. So as you inhale, squeeze your your hamstrings, your glutes, lifting up through your navel. Exhale, allow the crown to fall backwards. As you stretch out the complete front of our body. As you inhale, bring chin to the chest. Exhale, allow your glutes to fall towards the to earth. Good. So you're going to bend your knees. Exhale, lie down onto your back. Both knees bent. So you're going to bring the right foot past the left ankle or the left knee, sorry. And just leave it there. And just breathe into the opening you've created into the hips. Relaxing your shoulders, relaxing the back of your neck. Place your palms allow the palms to face the east and the west and as you exhale you're going to allow your right foot to fall over to the floor as you inhale you're going to exhale turn to face your right hand as we take a supine twist to open up the body releasing any tension we're holding in our neck and especially in our hips so releasing emotions of frustration, anxiety. Inhale, bring the crown, the knees back up to centre. Exhale, release the feet down to the floor. As you bend your left knee so that the left foot is on the right top of the right knee, palms facing the east and the west, or bring the palms back down in line with your hips. And just take some deep breaths into the hip space. That opening is created into the hips.
I'm going to take this twist the opposite side now. So as you exhale, allow the left foot to fall over to the floor, keeping the upper back and the back of the head onto the floor. As you inhale, exhale, allow the head to fall over to the left. So definitely emotional imbalances such as joy and your ability to experience love and creativity. Inhale, bring back the knee back to center. Exhale, release the feet down to get the earth. Okay, as you roll back onto the glutes, the next few two postures will reverse the flow of blood to your body. So if you're on your cycle, you're pregnant, or you've got a really bad neck, I would suggest you do not do them. This is the spinal nourishment part of the program. So it's the shoulder stand and the get plow. Do what you can and we'll take a little variation on, on the get plow today. So rather than coming down with our legs straight, we can keep our legs open. So you lie down onto your back. You're gonna lie down onto your back and you inhale. You're gonna raise your feet with enough momentum to bring them 45 degrees above your head. So three, two, one. Placing the palms onto the lower back. As you extend your feet up towards the heavens. Try not to move, do not move your head from left to right when you're up in this posture. And just hold it for as long as it's comfortable for you. Make sure you're comfortable though. No tension, holding any tension or strain especially in your face, so relax your facial muscles and your jaw. And as you exhale, you're gonna simply allow the knees or the feet to come down the opposite direction. So we'll take a variation today, so we'll go wide. Bring the feet onto the floor. If the feet are on the floor, then ensure that the toes are pointing towards you and you're pressing up through your shin bone and your thigh bone, releasing the palms to get the earth. As you inhale, bring the feet up 45 degrees, placing the palms onto the lower back. You're going to switch the palms to the sides of your thighs. Exhale, release out the posture one vertebra at a time. Bring your feet down to gab with control. Good. You're going to sit up if you're not. Reposition yourself, reposition yourself back onto your mat. And take a deep breath. Place your palms in line with your thighs. Inhale, lifting up onto your forearms. Toes together. Inhale, lifting up to the chest. Exhale out the crown to fall back. As you take the bowl of rice, or the fish pole, soften the muscles in your face. Tongue on the roof of the mouth. Next, in line with the vertebrae, exhale, allow your upper back, lower back, fall down to get the earth. As you raise the palms up, exhale, release them above your crown, interlace your fingers, and you stretch your palms, you the east and the west. So you send your palms and feet in opposite direction. Inhale, come up to seated. Exhale, hold forward, forward fold. Inhale, raise your palms up. Exhale, release them down to get back. Come to see, to see, coming onto the seat in front of your mat. Good. So we're going to do some soupy grinds to just warm up our spine. Inhale forwards, exhale backwards. Inhale forwards, exhale backwards. Inhale forwards, exhale backwards. Inhale forwards. Exhale backwards. Inhale forwards, exhale backwards. We'll do this seven times. As you inhale, 
come at the center. Then bring your shoulders, lift them to the crown. You're gonna bring your palms. All right, so soles of the feet together. As you inhale, lengthen to the ground, exhale, hold forward. Bada Kanasana. So keep your, keep your neck and your spine long. Just bring your chest down. You just breathe into your hips. Long. Palms on the out edge of your feet. Elbows on the outer edge of your shins. Inhale, exhale, bring your chin to your chest and your forehead to the floor. Or your forehead towards your feet. Inhale, lengthen, release. Okay, so you're going to cross your, cross your legs. Interlace the fingers behind you. Lift up to the crown, roll the shoulders up, back and down, exhale, fold forward. This helps to just maintain and retain the energy that we've cultivated into our bodies. Inhale, lengthen. Alright, I'm going to follow, bring the palms behind you. So the palms can touch, lengthen, open up the chest, and just breathe. Exhale, release. Switching to the opposite side. Palms onto your shoulders, elbows together. You're going to rotate this scapula three times clockwise, three times after clockwise. So bring your elbows to meet your knees. Alright, so elbows together, palms together. So you're going to rotate your three times clockwise, or five times clockwise, five times after clockwise. today's practice to an end. To finalize today's practice though, we'll do a couple of three arms. So place your thumb and index finger together. As you inhale. me and no need to like me and I bow down to that ever present non is available in every breath. A Buddha for you, a, lo a lotus for you, a Buddha to be. Namaste.